Okay, this is World Literature Exercise 82 um, test. It's not test practice. It's the part of the test. You will also need to do the questions at the end of the chapter, and I'll explain that to you um, in person. But um, this is for oral administration of the test. Okay. Um, number, uh, directions. Choose the one best answer to each item. Items 1 to 5 refer to the passage that follows. Grandma Rosa was born in Italy. On her dresser is a photograph of a little girl in a garden. The girl holds a basket of fat, ripe tomatoes. She is smiling. The girl is Grandma Rosa a long time ago. She's been in this country for over 60 years, but she doesn't speak English. In April, Grandma Rosa spends her days in the greenhouse planting tomatoes. Children pass on their way home from school. If they stop, she gives them cookies. In May, she moves the seedlings to her garden. As neighbors pass, she waves hello. When green tomatoes fall from the vine, she pickles the tomatoes and gives jars to the neighbors. When the tomatoes ripen, when the tomatoes ripen, she waves to people to come into her garden. Take two, Grandma Rosa says in Italian. Take three or four. In the fall, Grandma Rosa makes the best spaghetti sauce in the world. When anyone visits, she gives them a quart. She always says manjan, which means eat and enjoy. Who needs English? Grandma Rosa has her tomatoes. I only hope that when I'm 85, I'll have a language that works this well. Okay, number one. What does Grandma Rosa grow? A, flowers, B, tomatoes, C, herbs, D, cookies. Number two, what sentence is not true about Grandma Rosa? A, she is old, B, she speaks English, C, she grows a garden, D, she likes children. Number three, what does the photograph on Grandma Rosa's dresser show? A, she is over 70 years old, B, red is her favorite color. C, she likes to eat spaghetti. D, she grew tomatoes when she was a girl. Number four, how does Grandma Rosa communicate with her neighbors? A, sings songs. B, writes notes. C, shares her food. D, calls on the telephone. Number five, why does the writer admire Grandma Rosa? A, she is friendly. B, she is wise. C, she is generous. D, all of the above. This is a continuation of the um, chapter 10 test. Here are the summaries of the stories that you read, and then I'll read the questions. Uh, the old grandfather and his little grandson. Uh, two parents begin to mistreat an old grandfather. When their son suggests that he will someday treat them the same way, they see their mistake. When heaven and earth change places, Lei Hayslip lovingly describes memories of her father in Vietnam. She shows how he cared for her and in her mother's absence. His stories of their ancestors and the way he protected his family from the horrors of war help Lei understand what is important for her to do. Aunt Julia, the speaker fondly recalls Aunt Julia's mysterious, fascinating, and dramatic ways. Even though she's now dead, her memory and her influence stretch across a generation. Grandfather's photograph. A single photograph is all the speaker has of his grandfather. It's enough, however, to make the speaker feel a strong connection. Okay, chapter quiz, you need to answer all of these questions. There are five of them. Number one, in the old grandfather and his little grandson, the grandson, A, breaks his grandfather's bowl, B, hides the bowl from his parents. C, fills the bowl with rice. D, copies his grandfather's wooden bowl. Number two, when the soldiers came in when heaven and earth changed places, Leilai's Hayslip's father, A, sent his family away and protected his home. B, joined the army and died. C, killed a duck and offered it to the soldiers. D, hid everyone at home. Number four. Three, Leilai Hayslip's father tells her to A, become a warrior, B, tell stories to her children, C, buy a sword, D, forget about her past. Number four, one memory the speaker has of Aunt Julia is that she A, spoke only Gaelic, 
B, wore fancy slippers. C, was very wealthy. D, had 13 children. Number five, one memory the speaker had of his grandfather in grandfather's photograph is that he, A, made his bed every morning. B, always told jokes. C, was a good photographer. D, was a wonderful mu musician. All right? Thinking and writing, you need to choose choose three of the four. Three, you need to choose three of these. Write at least a paragraph. Number one, what do you think life is like for the grandfather and the old grandfather and his little grandson a month later? Write your version of the next part of the story. Number two, think about the way Aunt Julia and the grandfather and grandfather's photograph are described. How are, the, how are they different from one another? Number two, do you think Lely in Why Heaven and Earth Change Places followed her father's advice? Explain your answer. Number four, why do you think the grandson in grandfather's photograph sees himself sitting in an empty picture frame?